Hey, North Star, welcome to another episode of Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is John chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. God's word says this, Go call your husband, he told her, and come back here. I don't have a husband, she answered. You have correctly said, I don't have a husband, Jesus said, for you've had five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have said is true. Now, following the Samaritan woman's request to taste of the living water, Jesus instructs her to go and to go get her husband. And she responds that she says, I don't have a husband. And Jesus goes on to say, yeah, you've had five husbands and the man that you now have is, is not your husband. Now, this seems like a pretty, a pretty harsh response to Jesus. So let's, let's look more in detail on this. Now, there is typically two responses or two interpretations of this woman's lifestyle. The first interpretation is that she is a serial adulterer, that she's someone who has had five husbands and is now with another man to whom she is not married. The second interpretation is that she is a serial widower, that she has had five husbands, all of which have died. Now, culturally, both of these realities would be a reason for deep shame and pain, especially in her first century context. So regardless of how you interpret the Samaritan woman's situation, the point is that she experienced a great wound and is marked by great shame. Now, this is further evidenced as her appearance at the well in the middle of the day and her willingness to give Jesus a half truth about the I don't have a husband. So when discussing our wounds and our sin, we typically conflate the ideas of guilt and shame. So just a a quick little clarifier here. Dr. Mark Yarhouse describes this, this distinction between guilt and shame that I think is quite helpful. He would say that guilt equals I have done wrong, where shame equals I am wrong. I would argue that the Samaritan woman, considering the honor and shame culture in which she's situated, her appearance at the well at midday, and her hesitation to tell Jesus the whole truth, tells me that she was marked by the shame of sin, that deep I am wrong sin. Uh, Have you ever felt that? Have you ever been there before? I know that I certainly have uh, that feeling of, of there is something wrong with me. Why can't I get this right? That low grade feeling of your confidence being sucked out of your soul, one loss after another, it feels. Typically, it's this thing that be it a sin or a wound that the people around us seem to tiptoe around or even avoid at all costs, which just seems to even make it worse. But isn't it interesting that Jesus, on the other hand, goes to right to the source of the pain and meets it head on. He tells her in verse eight, you've had five husbands. What you've said is right. Jesus addresses the wound directly, not to injure, but to heal, not to agitate, but to soothe. Jesus is offering her the living water that can fill her shame drained soul. If you were honest with yourself today, what is your wound? What is the cause of your shame? What is the thing that has brought on this idea of I am wrong? Will you see the, this picture of Jesus, these words of Jesus, that Jesus wants to address that thing in your life head on, not to hurt, but to heal not to agitate, but to soothe. No tiptoeing around, no beating around the bush. Jesus wants to make all things new. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word. I pray that by the power of your spirit, John chapter four, verse 16 through 18 would transform us. It would conform us to the image of your son. Lord, as we look at this passage today, um, Lord, shame and wounds and and sin, God, they they leave quite a mark. And uh, Lord, we just pray today that we would have the courage to open ourselves up to your direct and loving care to us. Um, Lord, that you want to address those things head on. God, you're not afraid of our sin. You're not afraid of our shame. But Lord, you want to make things new. Would Would you do that work in us today, Lord? And we pray this, Father, through your Son and by your Spirit. Amen.